Dream killers. Dream killers. How do you identify dream killers? Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Manor. What a wonderful morning it is. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you had a wonderful worship experience on yesterday. Where did you go and what did the man or woman of God preach? Shout them out this morning before we get into our morning manna. Where did you go and what did the man or woman of God preach? This is Christmas week, Christmas week. Good morning, Betty. How are you? Grand rising to you. Uh, how are things? Where did you go? Shajil, how are you? Uh, I emailed you. Please uh, read the email and I'll circle back. Been a busy, busy week for me. Uh, and uh, looks like it's going to be even more busy uh, as we get closer to Christmas. Good morning, Angela. How are you on this morning? So where did you go uh, to church and what did the man or woman of God preach? Uh, did it impact you? Did it influence you? Did it help you at all? Uh, good morning, Joyelle. How are you on this morning? How are you on this morning? And also, what are your plans for this week? Before we get into morning matter, what are your plans for this week? Good morning, Brenda. How are you? on this morning. Got cookie crumbs all around my mouth. Thank you for uh, all of that. Uh, the whole staff and everybody, thank you uh, very much for that. Verena, how are you on this morning? Laverne, how are you? Uh, Brother Nesbitt, how are you, Tony? How's everything? Uh, here we go. Let's get into it. Dream killers. Dream killers. How do you avoid, get away from dream killers? How many of you have a dream? A vision for your life. Put that in the chat area. It's going to be the text to talk about the takeaway. Put the revelation that you get in the area. Let's get into this. If you have a vision, a dream, a hope, a desire, an aspiration for your life, know that there is someone that's always ready to kill it. Principally manifesting themselves, uh, the enemy manifesting himself in those individuals. How do you avoid that? Three things. The text is Matthew 2.12. Matthew 2.12. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. On yesterday, PG2 uh, ministered a word at New Life. Powerful word. Powerful word. I couldn't let go of that 12th verse in my own reflection had an altar call and it filled up when I talked about the fact, are there people who are trying to interrupt your dream, the vision on your life? Then I realized that there are plenty and you gotta have some kind of tactical way, some kind of strategy to get around that. Three things I see in that text, three things that are happening in the text. It's the Magi, the wise men, they are going um, to see and follow the star to see Jesus. They go by, of course, and um, they see to uh, talk to Herod. And as a result of talking to Herod, um, they go see Jesus. Something happens, though, on the way back. Three things I want you to grab. Here's the first thing. When you are looking for dream killers People who interrupt your flow. People who interrupt your flow. Now, the Magi already were going to Bethlehem. They were following the star. Herod said, come in, I need to interview you about what's going on. When people interrupt your flow, trust and believe. Be mindful. That person has the potential of being a dream killer. The second thing is this. People who misinterpret the vision and the dreams on your life. Herod says, look, I heard about this star and uh, what's going on? I think there's a child um, that's uh, coming into being and I, uh, that's, I, I really need to find out more. And really what he was doing was misinterpreting the whole thing because he thought it was a threat to his position and it wasn't. People who misinterpret the vision, the dreams, the aspirations, the hopes that you have for your life, make sure you check them out. 
Here's the third thing. People who misrepresent themselves and their motives. People who misrepresent themselves and their motives. Herod's motives was not to go worship the baby. And notice he called him a baby and not the Messiah. There was no intent. He misrepresented himself and his motives. You need to be mindful of people who misrepresent themselves, their motives, misinterpret your vision, and interrupt your flow because likely they're a dream killer. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. When you identify dream killers, do as the Magi did. Go another way. Go another way. Bottom line. I cannot deal with people who are trying to kill the dreams, the aspirations, the hopes, the things that I have faith in. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Share this man. If it bless you, bless somebody else. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning manna. Bye now.